This call may be monitored or recorded for quality assurance purposes. So, um, just to tell you a little bit about us, we're a food grade tanker company out of Central Florida. Um, we haul milk, cream, juice, water, oil, vinegars. We don't do anything hazmat level. Welcome back, drivers, to the Recruiter Call Channel. And in this MTC, we're going to be looking at Bynum Transport out of Florida. Yes, there are companies out of Florida's, in particular tankers. If you have your hazmat, it's, it's good. But if you don't, you really don't need it. They are a full-grade tanker company out of Florida. They offer competitive pay, full benefits, and dedicated support with over 40 years in the transportation industry. You like that? Good. Stay tuned. So I'm not sure if we're going to have a good signal, but how are you today? Thank you for returning the call. <laughs> Hi, how are you? Yeah, we're playing some phone tag. How are you today? I am fine. Thank you. So I am responding to an email that you guys sent me uh, last week. So I was just kind of uh -huh. I was just kind of wondering what you guys have to offer. You mind if I talk to you a little bit to, to, to see what you guys got? Not at all. Awesome. Um, if I can ask you a couple questions, I can kind of tell you what we have available. All right, go ahead. Okay, and where do you live, Sean? I'm out of Ohio, Cleveland. Ohio, okay. And do you by chance have a year over the road experience in the past three years? Seven altogether. Oh, great, okay. And then um, do you by chance have a tanker endorsement? Yes, I do. Oh, great, okay. So um, <clears throat> just to tell you a little bit about us, we're a food grade tanker company out of Central Florida. Um, we haul milk, cream, juice, water, oil, vinegars. We don't do anything hazmat level. And we're 100% no-touch freight. So the customer handles the hoses and pumps. You would just have to feel comfortable to get on the ladder and check your seals. Okay, okay, okay. How much, yeah. is, how much experience do you, guys, do you guys require to do this? Just a year over the road All in right. the past three. Now, you mentioned that you guys are out of Florida, so would it be okay uh -huh. for me to, to to take the truck home? As long as you have a safe place to park a truck and trailer. Okay, okay, cool, awesome. Uh, what about yeah. what about lanes? Like, would I have to? Would would this be like regional for for me, or do I got to run all forty eight? And do you guys run for Canada? We do not do Canada. Um, and what we have available where you're located, Sean, is called our Midwest Regional Run. Mm -hmm. um, they average about 2,500 to 2,800 miles a week. So it's 10 to 12 days out, home two to three, and it pays 55 cents a mile loaded and empty. Okay, okay, okay. So 55, so 55, five, five cents a mile, right? Uh-huh. Okay, okay. Correct. Uh what about now I don't I don't have none but I I always ask because I do have a partner uh he <laughs> just recently graduated and got about 6 months so far so I I always uh -huh. like to pass on the information so let me ask you this do you guys do teams we do, um, but um, the requirement of our insurance is a year over the road in the past three. Um, okay. So we would have to have um, that requirement met for each person that put in an application, and we would have to get an application from both. Gotcha. What about uh, what about yeah. your policies on traffic tickets and criminal background checks? Um, <clears throat> what happens is, <coughs> I'm so sorry. What happens is. Um, our requirement <laughs> is a year over the road experience in the past three years and a tanker endorsement. Um, so that would be for each person would complete an application okay. Um, separately. Okay. Yeah. What what about a uh, what about pre employment drug screening, uh, hair follicles, oh, yeah. or urine? Um, it's urine. It's urine. And you were asking about. Um, 
uh, seating tickets and things like that. Yes. What we do is once we receive an application, we review all components of the application and go from there. Awesome. Awesome. Do you guys accept SAP yeah. drivers? Unfortunately, we don't work with the program. Okay. Okay. Awesome. So this would be uh this would be paid by the mile, fifty five cent a mile. What what kind of equipment um, would I be driving? Uh, and what are they governing that? Yeah, so we have um, 2022 and 2023 Peterbilts. They're automatic transmission, Qualcomm equipped, and governed at 70. Okay, awesome, awesome. What about a what about a driver camera in the truck? Um, there's a forward facing camera. Okay, okay, okay. So there's no driver facing camera, right? Only only facing no, outside. Correct. Okay. Um, yeah. Do do you guys do you guys have lease opportunities there or no? We don't. We strictly do company driver. Okay, okay. So this is strictly W W2 with benefits, right? Correct, yes. All right. Any force dispatch? Um really they they you know, they look at what we have um the need for and then um obviously get with you on that. Okay. Now, being that I will be running Midwest Regional, that's up in my area. Would I be able to get home on the weekends? Um, they are out 10 to 12 days, home two to three. Okay. Okay. Uh, pet, and rider yeah. po pet and rider policy and how young can I bring my, my, my rider? Okay. So um, the pet policy is a smaller, medium dog. Um, and they've been looking into a possible deposit for that, but that's kind of in the works. Um, and then our rider policy is spouse or significant other, no children. Um, and for insurance purposes, they charge about $2 and some change a week. Okay. Now, being that you said this is no touch freight, everything is done at mm -hmm. the at the plants. Um, uh -huh. is there any, is there any detention pay for, you know, for them holding me over or, or, or something? Yeah. So our detention pay is after the first four hours, we'll pay $10 an hour for the entirety to get loaded and unloaded. So if you sit for six hours, um, Bynum pays for the two hours after the initial four. Wow. Why so long, if I may ask? I that's just what their policy is for that. Oh, okay. That oh, that's a little bit steep. So that means I'm if for whatever reason I get stuck at the I get stuck at the plant. Do is there any layover pay? Um yeah, layover is layover is determined by dispatch. Um, kind of on a case by case basis with whatever situation is going on. Okay, awesome, awesome. Is there a, well, like I said, I ain't see it in my email, but uh, do you guys uh, do you guys offer any type of sign on bonus or sign on incentives or anything like that? Um, unfortunately, we do not. All right. Well, hey, thank you very much. Uh, I really appreciate it. I would definitely go back and share this with my partner and everything. Okay. Um, and if I if if everything you know like turn up different for me in the future, what I just do need to do just to give you a call back and fill out the application and put your name on it. How how would that work? Yeah. What you can do, um, Sean, you could actually go straight to our website. Um, it's Bynum, B-Y-N-U-M, transport.com. And there's a place to apply right there. Awesome. Um, and then obviously, yes, you could call back. Yeah. Awesome. Well, thank you very much. I really appreciate the, You're welcome. I really appreciate the information and, uh, and the patience with the telephone tag in the day. Oh, yeah, that's okay. <laughs> Not a problem. It thank, happens. Thank you, man. All right. Well, have a great day. You too, Okay, bye-bye. All right. Bynum, everybody. <laughs> Food grade tanker. Definitely need your tanker endorsements. No hazmat. So you don't need to run out to get your hazmat, but you got to have at least a year of experience within the last three 
So you have to have a year within the last three. You have to have your tanker's endorsement. No touch freight, as she says. But the, the key component here is the four hours that you have to give the company before you can start getting the $10 detention pay. $10. Detention pay after four hours. So that means if you sit for five hours, for six hours, you will only get, if you sit for five hours, you only get $10. And if you sit for four or six hours, you will get $20. Ooh. Mmm. Hopefully, hopefully you don't. Uh, hopefully you don't sit that long. <laughs> hopefully they'll only do you for two hours and you'll be rolling making that money. Uh, <clears throat> Fifty-five cent per mile. That's another caveat right there that you might want to consider. They are hiring for Midwest Regional, so you know the Midwest areas, including Ohio, Chicago, or you know the Midwest areas that includes Ohio, Illinois, Wisconsin, probably Minnesota. No touch freight. I think I mentioned that already. The only thing you have to do is just climb up there and make sure that the seal is on. Yeah, mm. this one is a lot to consider, especially for veteran drivers. Now, new drivers, this might be for you. You know, you might get in if you have a year of experience with, you know, your first run company and you want to get uh, some tanker experience. This might be the place for you, you know, 55 cent per mile ain't bad for a new driver it's not bad at all but for a fat for a veteran driver yeah but another good thing is is that you're able to take the truck home they require you to be out for 10 days home for two and uh yeah they're located out of florida so buying them the information for Bynum will be in the description below. If anybody drives for Bynum or have driven for Bynum and you got some good experience with them, let us know in the comments below. Until next time, everybody. Who's next?